Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun Halloween video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a jack-o'-lantern surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our jack-o'-lantern surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm going to line up the corners and I'm going to give it a nice fold right down the middle. Next, I'm going to fold it one more time and I'll give it another nice fold like this. Now, when I open this up, I have these nice little guidelines that show me where I need to keep the inside of my drawing. And I like to fold it like this so I can open it up. Now, to start off with this, let's begin by drawing the top of our jack-o'-lantern right here. So I'm going to begin by just drawing a line that's just going to curve up and then down like a sad face. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to curve up and then down here. I'll do the same thing over here. I'm just going to curve up and down. And then down here, I'm going to make a big kind of smiley face shape for the bottom of our pumpkin. I'm going to bring this line down and kind of curve it up. And I'll do the same thing over here. We're just going to bring this line down and curve it up. Now for the stem, I'm just going to draw a line that curves up. And then I'll make another one that curves up. Then I'll make a little line right across here and a little smiley face. Now let's make the eyes. So we're just going to make kind of like a simple jack-o'-lantern face. So I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to make a line that's going to curve up and then down for a really big eye. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'm just going to bring this up and then down for a big eye. Bring a line across on each side. And then I'll make a little line that comes up on each side right here. Now for the mouth down here. Let's begin by drawing a line that's going to come in on each side. Then I'll make a little square shape for the teeth with a little line across. I'll make a line that comes down right towards the middle. And I'll make a little line that's going to go up, over, and then down for another tooth. Right here, I'll make a line that curves down on each side for the mouth. Now, once we have this part of our jack-o'-lantern, we want to open it up and draw the inside. Now, once it's open, we have two halves of our jack-o'-lantern. And we're going to turn this into a bunch of different jack-o'-lanterns. So let's start with this big one down here. I'm going to begin by drawing this line up. And then I'll draw this line right up here too. I'll start right here and draw a line that's going to come up and then down. And we'll make sure those are connected. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve up and down for an eye. And we'll do the same thing here. I'm just going to curve this up and down. Then I'll make a little sad face shape to connect each one. Draw a line up here, and then a line right up here. Then I'll curve a line here. And I'll curve a line right over here and connect it for the stem. Now let's make another one over here. I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's going to come up and down. And then a little line that's going to curve over to here. And one that's going to curve over to here. I'm going to draw 
a circle shape right here, and then a bigger circle shape right over here. I'll make a little curve on each side. And then right here, I'm going to bring a line that comes down. We'll make a little tooth. And then I'll bring this up here. I'll bring this down, and I'll bring this line down, and I'll put another little square shape here for another tooth. I'll draw a line here, and then a line here. I'll make a little line that curves, and then we'll bring it back here for the stem. Now I'll make another one over here. I'll begin by drawing a line that's going to curve around. I'll make a line that's going to curve and connect to here. And one that's going to curve and then connect to here. I'll draw a little line that comes down on each side. Then I'm going to come down and then over. Down and over. A little bit more angry eyes. I'll draw a curve here and a curve here. Then I'm going to give it some sharp teeth. So we're going to make some lines that are just going to go down and up, down and up, and then bring it to here. I'll bring this down, and I'll bring this one down. Then I'll add a little curve line on each side. Then I'll make a little line that's going to curve and then one more and connect it for the stem. Next, I'll make another one here. I'm going to draw a little line that's going to curve. I'll make a line that's going to curve out and in, and then out and in. I'll make a little curve line here and a bigger curve line here. I'll make a line that curves in and back, and then one here. It's going to curve in and back. Curve a line here, and then curve a line right there. I'll make a line that's going to come across, we'll come down, over, and up, and then continue here for like a tooth. Then I'll draw another one. We'll curve here, curve here, we'll go up, over, and down, and then bring it back. We'll make a little line that's going to curve and then come back for the stem. Next, over here, I'm going to make another pumpkin. So I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up and down. We'll make a sad face here, and then we'll curve it up and then down to here. Now this one I'm going to make some heart eyes. So I'm going to draw two bumps right here. And then I'll connect it with a V shape. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to make two bumps. And then I'll connect it with a V shape. I add a little curve line on each side. And then I'll make a line that comes across for a smile. And I'll just go down with a little line here. And we'll make a line that goes up, over, and down for the stem. Now I'm going to put one more pumpkin over here. So I'm going to begin by making a sad face. I'm going to curve this around. And I'll curve this around. I'll make a triangle shape for an eye. And then I'll make another triangle shape for an eye. Then I'll make a couple little zigzag lines that come up and then down. And then we'll just draw two little curved lines. 
And then right here we'll make a little curve for the stem. Now finally I want to finish off my big pumpkin. So I'm going to begin by drawing this line down and then I'll draw this line down. Now for the mouth, I'm going to start here and I'm going to go down and up, down and up, down and then up here. I'm going to curve this down on each side. And then I'm going to go up and down, up and down, up and down for some teeth. Then we'll draw this line down and this line down. And there you go, there is your jack-o'-lantern surprise fold. When I have it all folded up, I have a simple jack-o'-lantern, but when I open it up, we can see that there are a bunch of little ones inside of there. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.